Bass fishing today with Jack. We're setting up rods right now. We have three rods that we're fishing. We're fishing the new Sage R8 690 with a Predator line on it. We have a Scott Sector six weight with a Rio outbound short. And we also have a Sage payload with a Predator line as well. They're all floating lines. Uh, we are fishing one subsurface fly and uh, a couple floaters. And we're hoping to find some bass on top water here. And right now the clouds are still uh, covering up the sun and which we're really excited about because it's not a super early start for us, but, uh, but we're looking to get some fish on poppers. <laughs> you need a net? You have them? Oh, yeah. You should only be in net bass fishing. But we got a net. Okay. First fish. <laughs> On the PTO pop. Uh, yeah. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> it's a rainbow. <laughs> come on. Okay, first fish, hold up. Size, size two PTO popper. <laughs> <laughs> We've only landed that one trout on the popper and uh, had a couple hits on the smash mouse, but now I'm gonna switch over to this little uh, this little guy right here, and it's got um, this little fire tiger. Uh, what's this thing called? What? Yeah, what's that called? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a bushwhacker, and uh, got a little weed guard in there because it is fairly weedy. It's weighted too, so it's going to fish a little bit deeper. I'm going to fish these outside. Uh, there's these outside lily pad spots here. So we're going to, I'm going to work the outside of these with that fly. No! Is it a bass? No, it was a huge trout. Oh, it was, oh it was, it was. Nice size fish. Nice. First cast with a new fly. I know. Man, we've caught more trout than bass on bass flies. I mean, we are not doing this right. This is uh, this is getting kind of funny, actually. Yeah, he crushed it too. After hooking a couple of trout on the on the bass popper, we. Uh, Tried some streamers and maybe to actually catch a couple trout and they didn't want anything to do with it so so now we're just fishing uh back to bass poppers jack put on a slightly smaller pto popper a red and black um it's a little bit easier to eat it's the smaller size so he's gonna help these little fish like this one and uh we're hoping to hoping to find some bigger fish we've seen a couple a couple big ones but uh that we've seen them kind of boil and and uh but not on our fly yet Well, we ended up with a couple small bass and uh, missed missed a bunch more. They're they're pretty eager. I had a huge one miss. Um, actually, it didn't miss. I missed. I had the fish on, uh, saw the fish under the water, and I just didn't get a good hook set because when he had hit it, I was I wasn't looking at it and wasn't paying attention. And so uh, so that one got away. That was the one we were looking for. Um, but for decent sized fish today, the trout ruled the day with, uh, with trout on the, on the topwater popper, which was kind of insane. Fished some subsurface stuff and didn't get any hits at all. Everything was just on the topwater. So, uh, so we're actually just gonna kind of troll some subsurface stuff on the way back in some deeper water. 
just to see what we get on our way back to the ramp, but uh, we're just out for a half day. So we're, we're calling it uh, calling it a day. And um, these lines, you know, if you're fishing bass flies, you really want to be throwing a line that can turn over a big bass fly. So uh, the Rio Predator line uh, has, a, has, a, has a nice, nice, bat head on the on the thing or the real outbound short is also a really great one uh, that can really deliver that fly and turn it over right mass takes mass to move mass so you, if you're throwing a big huge bass fly you need something that can carry it and turn it over if you need some bass gear we have uh flies and lines and stuff linked in the description below check it out if you like this video give it a thumbs up give it a like uh consider subscribing to our channel thanks a bunch see ya